Hello, my name is Kess and welcome to another Yuan Pizzazz tutorial. Today I'm going to teach you how to create this old film effect. Check it out! We are going to start off by opening up Premiere Pro here. I already have my sequence created and my footage in the timeline. There's a link to this footage down below so make sure to download that if you want to use the exact footage I'm using today. And the first thing we are going to do is actually take a screenshot of this footage and we can do that by clicking this little camera option here to export the frame. We're going to leave it as a PNG and for sure you can just put it on your desktop. Okay now we're going to move on over to Photoshop briefly and we're going to drag that screenshot in. We are going to make a custom gradient based on the screenshot, just using the colors in this picture. I'm going to go with the reds and the oranges. So I'm going to use my color picker tool to pick a dark red. Here is good. And then I will use the other square to do a light orange. And I might go on the higher end of the orange because I really want there to be a contrast between the colors. Now, if I go into my gradient tool, and um, you can adjust this however you want to, if you want it more red or more orange, I'm going to keep it down the middle. I'm going to press OK. So my gradient is made. We're going to create a new layer in Photoshop, and then we're going to just drag the gradient across like this. And you can do this in many different directions. You could do it diagonally. You know, whatever, whatever floats your boat. Once you are happy with this gradient, we are going to export it as a PNG. So go to File, Save As, and then just save it as Gradient. Make sure it's set as a PNG file and click Save. Press OK. All right, we're done with Photoshop for now, so just close that. And we are going to drag this gradient into the project. We are now ready to create the effect. So the first thing I want you to do is select the file itself, go into your Lumetri color panel, and I want you to adjust the faded film. Adjust this however you want. You can always go back later and change it. So I'm going to make it like this. Now I'm going to add the gradient on top. You just drag that on there. And I'm going to get you to select effect controls. Make sure your layer is selected and change the blend mode to vivid light. And the reason I choose this extreme blend mode is because you can really see the gradient and that's what we want. And the good thing is is that we can change the opacity. So we're just gonna we're gonna dim it down just a little bit. Okay now I'm gonna get you to make an adjustment layer. So right click in the project, click new item, an adjustment layer, and we are going to drag this on top. We are going to go into effects and search noise. Go down here and we're going to click this noise and we're going to drag it on to the adjustment layer. And again, this is up to you preference wise, but you can make it as noisy as you want it to be. Obviously that is too much. <laughs> so we're going to go down to whatever we feel is a comfortable amount. Okay, I'm happy with that. So now we are going to go into effects. We are going to search for crop. I'm going to drag her onto the adjustment layer and we are going to set the left to 14% and the right to 14%. Okay, that's it folks. That is the old film effect. It's really simple. All you have to do is create a custom gradient from the colors, add a little bit of noise and a crop and you got a whole new look. If you want to be extra fancy, you can always download those free stock overlays of the dust and the scratches. I didn't decide to go with that today because I wanted a more natural look, but that is also an option. I will put some links down below if you want to add that to your film look. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. I hope you learned something. You Want Pizzazz puts out bi-weekly tech tutorials, so if you like Premiere Pro, Photoshop, After Effects, please subscribe to the channel for more videos. Thanks so much for watching and have a great rest of your day. Bye.